okay how to load the detail yeah okay so yeah okay so today we are going to discuss how to load the data into sdfs and how to get the data to the hadoop cluster right so in the previous session uh, we have uh, discussed about so the different ways of uh, how to access the sdfs file system so what are the different ways we can represent the files in sdfs and we have discussed what is a local file system what is sdfs file system what is hftp what is hsftp what is a web sdfs so how to make uh, files uh, and the directories access when there is a two incompatible hadoop versions are running between the two different clusters so this is what we have discussed in the previous session right so now uh, we are going to discuss what are the different ways to load the data into sdfs or you can say so how to get the data to the hadoop cluster right so now when you are working with the hadoop right what will be your main role we, uh, we should get some data because it's a big data right so you need some data of that we have to work on the data so it can be any kind of data any kind of data in the sense either the data can be generated by the machines or it can be the data generated by the devices Got it. So the data cannot be says like only the machine. It's a user's data. Again, in the user data, so the data based upon uh, your history, browsing history, your uh, right, whatever your information, the devices or the products which you are using, right? Uh, some data. Okay. So now uh, we have the some data is available with the different data sources are available right either some people will have the data into the database or some people will have the data into the network data storage just like servers right the data is passing through the servers right suppose see the example you take the big clients like google youtube facebook right twitter because this they have the bulk amount of data so don't think that they are using a database to store the data right so they'll they use their store they store the data into some uh, servers Right, it's uh, that it will be attached to some network. So uh, attached storages, we can say NAS or it can be ascribed middle tight somewhere. They are going to store the data. Now, uh, either your data can be in a production database or the data can be uh, resides in a server. Uh, but the thing is, what actually what we are going to do? We are going to make some analytics on the data. We are going to uh, apply some plastics on the data, right? So that. So in case of you want to go doing some, you want to do some processing with the data, the data processing, uh, you can you can do in the DBMS, but uh, you can't work with the much data and the execution time will be very uh, slow. You need to wait some more, more time and it should be limited, right? So you don't have any alternate to process the data. You have to get the data into the Hadoop cluster. So either your data is available in the database or your data is available in the uh, servers. So we have the different tools are available or you can say the some components or you can say the Hadoop sub projects which comes under the Apache umbrella or we have some third party utilities are date so we use that tools to get the data into the Hadoop cluster so this I told in the previous session right so when we are working the Hadoop uh, just remember always the data which the users are which we are going to work with data the data which we are going to process should be resides in the SDFS and Hadoop uses the data into the local file system users use the data into the SDFS Right. In the sense, the data written by the name nodes, the data written by the data nodes will be stored into the local file system and the data which the users is going to process, right, our data or you can say the input data should be always uh, must be resides in the SDFS. You should move the data to SDFS to process it. Either you are going to write a job in Hive or you are going to write a job in Peak or it can be a MapReduce program or it can be a Java program. So the first thing is you need to get the data to the SDFS, right? What you have to do? First, you have to get the data to the SDFS. Once the data is available in SDFS, then only we can able to run the jobs on the Hadoop cluster, right? See, uh, to get the data to SDFS because it's a 10 node cluster or a one node cluster or it's a multi node cluster, right? So we have data nodes are there. Uh, we have configured how to with the data nodes. So in each data node, we have SDFS is available. So all the data first, you should make uh, available in the SDFS. So SDFS is spawned into 
all the data nodes so all the data nodes we are collecting together it is a cluster so once you get the data into the data nodes that indicates you have the data into the SDFS that indicates now you are going to run the job on Hadoop cluster that it I'll repeat uh, suppose you want to process some data uh, right so you have to work on some data then you have to get the data to the SDFS getting the data to the SDFS means you have configured some data nodes so you have configured how to pin the data nodes so each data node is having SDFS so nothing is nothing but you're getting the data to SDFS means you're making the data available in all the data nodes right after it's a data nodes where your actual data resides now the data is available in the data nodes means the data is available in SDFS means the data is available in a cluster where the job which you are going to run on the data is going to run on a Hadoop cluster uh, means it takes the data from all the data nodes right so and it's going to be processed so this is running a job in a map mode uh, running a job in a Hadoop cluster indicates all the data which is distributed is going to be processed right so when uh, how to give the data to SDFS what are the different ways we load the data into SDFS right so generally uh, we have the different APIs are available we just go through one article uh, I have shared recently in my Twitter so the power of API so these are the days where we are widely using the different APIs to work with the uh, uh, work with uh, respective technologies the programming right here uh, we are using one API uh, which we call it as Hadoop file system API right it is an API or it can be a client you can say are some set of commands which are defined so with this uh, Hadoop file system API we can able to copy the data from the local file system to SDFS file system okay so we can use how to file system API is one way we are going to load the data into SDFS and second one is you can use uh, sub components or you can say how to project sub projects where your data is available into the databases right it's a production data base right uh, the data every day you're getting some data into the production database so you have to analyze the data so which a when it is getting bulk amount of data suppose in the sense you're getting 500 GB every day to your production database every day you're getting 500 GB to yeah, the production I database uh, just, just a second so it takes up to one uh, in a month it reaches up to 15 terabytes of data which it's very difficult to process uh, under uh, DBMS correct so what we have to do we have to move the data or we have to import the data from the production database to the Hadoop cluster uh, after that right so we are going to press in SDFS so for that we use a component is cube this cube right uh, which is used to perform uh, importing and uh, exporting the data right uh, between RDBMS and SDFS right cube is a one component uh, which we collect the data from the production databases and we have uh, streaming the, we can able to stream the data right so streaming so there you can use a flume to stream the data or we can use spring XT to collect the data or you can use Kafka to stream the data to the Hadoop cluster or you can use star right so these are the different ways where we are, we are going to create a, some channel so to get the data uh, from the server network attached storages or uh, some middleware servers so we are collecting the data right so this is one way we are trying to load the data into SDFS and suppose if you are able to configure the FTP right so we can use FTP and we can able to upload the files into the Hadoop cluster right so this is one way we are going to uh, right write the data onto the Hadoop cluster right if it is available in a local file system or if it's available in the databases or the data is available in some servers or suppose the data is available somewhere into the disk right so we have these are the different ways we are going to load the data into SDFS right uh, in this one uh, the first one is the file system API so in the file system API so we have some commands are provided that is copy from local okay so then we use copy to local right so what we are doing now uh, 
copy from local is a command which copies a file from the uh, local file system to sdfs file system we use uh, and then we can use one command move from local is a command uh, which we can which we can move a file from the local file system to sdfs file system or uh, you can use a put command to write the files to the sdfs right so these are the commands which we are going to write the data from the local file system to sdfs uh, file system that is these are the hadoop file system api commands to load the data into hadoop file system and here uh, one thing we can use apart from next we have hue right hue is a one component with a hue file browser right with a hue file browser we are going to upload the data into sdfs right so <coughs> right the same way suppose with this api right we'll uh, we can get the data or we can copy the files from sdfs to local file system okay one is a local file system to sdfs file system we are using the commands <coughs> copy from local move from local put right the reverse is the same thing uh, we can use com copy to local okay and then you can use move to local is a one command and get is a one command right so these are the commands which we can able to transfer the file systems from the uh, local file system to sdfs as well as sdfs to local file system so run the command ls <coughs> fine suppose uh, what we have it's a local file system uh, you take ls so i have the some files are available so here uh, let me check one file cd documents ls right so i'm taking a file cat file 3 right i have some data in this file 3 now to copy this file clear hadoop space fs iphon put sorry was we'll discuss copy from local okay so let me create a directory hadoop space fs hyphen ls when key is there some test file have created it's not there so up to create a directory i'm using test 5 Okay, so in HDFS, I have a directory test file. Now uh, I'm going to copy this file uh, Hadoop space FS iPhone. So copy from local, right? Here F is capital, L is capital, right? So I want to copy the file, file 3 to uh, HDFS, right? In HDFS, uh, it's a user cloud era. And test 5 is the directory. Right. So in this way, we'll run the command right now. I have copied the file file 3 from the local file system to the SDFS directory test 5 right so copy from local is a command which copies a file from the local file system to SDFS file system. So the same thing you can use Hadoop space FS iPhone put is a one command right which also copies a file from the local file system to sdfs file system so here i am choosing a file poem now i want to copy this file to the directory test file so i'll give the complete uri so i am writing sdfs colon slash slash the host name of the cluster i'm writing here uh, it's a local host okay so the port of the name node 8020 so the lo uh, the location or the directory the path you out right here user cloud era and the directory is test file right so this is one way we are going to copy the file from the local file system to sds file system now if you use if you want to see the files fs ls then write test 5 <coughs> okay see now i have copied the two files from the local file system to sds file system the same thing suppose if you want to move a file so suppose i am going to create some temporary file uh, touch test one right 
so I'm going to copy Hadoop FS FN move from local is a command which moves right it's like a cut paste now move from local then write the file name test one right I want to copy this file to the directory test file just write the test five press enter now it is moved to the SDFS directory right copy from local is to copy move from local is to uh, move right it's like a cut paste okay so now just run the command hado space fs hyphen ls test 5 press enter right we have copied the three files file 3 poem and test 1 right so again if you want to move the file uh, or copy the file from the sdfs to local file system then use the command hadoop space fs hyphen copy to local is a command which copies a file from the sdfs to local file system so here i have a file uh, which is available in user cloud era okay in a directory test one i have a file in a directory test five i have a file test one okay i want to copy this file to the local file system in home cloud era right so it's my location press enter now the file is moved copied from the sdfs to local file system so you can see cd home cloud era ls so now the file which you copied is the test one right so in this way we can able to copy a file from the local file system to sdfs file system as well as sdfs to local file system Right. So the same thing uh, we use a put command. No, the opposite put is get command, which copies a file from the SDFS to local file system. <coughs> okay. And so if you are going to the hue, right? Uh, Right in the hue, uh, we have a file browser is available. Click on this file browser. Now to copy file from the local file system, suppose I'm going to, uh, we have a directory, test five is there. Now I want to copy a file from the local file system. So here select the option upload, select the files. Now specify the file which you want to copy to the uh, test file directory. Take any some file. Okay, click the button open. Right now, now I'm going to upload this file file into the test file. So this is one way we can copy a file from the local file system to SDS file system uh, with the command, uh, with the option hue uh, file browser. So this is the kind of thing where we are going to upload a file, right? So again, if you want to move this file to the local file system, then you have to download it. The button download then it will be downloaded into the local file system right so this is uh, we use hue file browser to copy a file from the local file system to sdfs file system you can use uh, you can copy a file from the one directory in sdfs to another directory in sdfs to copy and move commands okay so this is just just select upload uh, to create a directory click on new and then directory it's like hadoop space fsf and mkda so i'm going to create a directory the direct name is test 6 click the button create now a directory is going to be created that it's a test 6 now to copy a file to this directory then just upload select the file now select any file which you want to upload click this now it's going to be uploaded right that means we run the command hadoop space fsf and mkdr to create the directory and uh, to copy the file you can use hadoop space fsf and uh, copy from local or hadoop space fsf and put so alternate we can use gui right so it's a hue file browser where we are going to copy the files upload the files from the local file system to sdfs file system so that's now get the host name otherwise we can use vnfcp here 
to upload the file through FTP. Now get the host name. So take a terminal if you don't know the host name, then run the command cat slash etc host. Now the right so it's a host name it's a 192 this one copy this okay so now i'm going to upload a file through ftp then write the host name <coughs> right username is cloud data and password is a cloud data right and then try to log in Yes. <coughs> okay. Now uh, I have a directory in uh, Cloud Era, which is uh, home Cloud Era. Right. Now select somewhere you want to copy the file. Right. So pick the file from the local file system. So this is my local file system. So from the desktop or anywhere. Right. I want to upload the file to the Hadoop cluster. Now select the file. So I'm taking Spring XD.txt into I'm copying this file to the documents. Right, this drag and drop here. Okay, now I have uploaded the file to the uh, Hadoop cluster in a local file system, Spring XD.txt, where I have uploaded under the root home cloud era documents. Now I'm going to the terminal. So clear. So under the root home cloud era and the documents ls so I have uploaded the file that is a spring xd dot txt right now now run the command hadoop space fsfn put then spring xd dot txt to the directory test file so this is how we ftp a file to the sdfs okay so here I have configured the ftp tool win scp to upload a file to the Hadoop cluster after copy this file to the SDFS.